हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस बीटा टारगेट एंड और साइड स्लिप इंडिकेटर ऑफ एयरबस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड एयरलाइन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन और अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ फ्लाइट कंट्रोल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट लेट सी वर्ड्स रिटर्न इन योर एफ कॉम दिस इज द ओनली इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज गिवन इन योर एफ कॉम बट before reading it disclaimer i do not own any of the image and content used in this course all of it is just a reproduction of airbus manuals images from the google or from cbts just to uh, make the topic uh, easy to understand right i do not recommend any practical application it is just for the interview purpose and for the basic knowledge of the system right i request you to please inform me in case of any incorrect or inappropriate explanation in this video i will be telling you about particular uh, msn values and data may differ from your uh, msn right okay so let's start with the some questions which came in my mind before even reading the fcom by listening beta target i had three question in my mind what is beta target number 1 which computer generates it or what computer you know makes it or what is behind it right number 3 what are the conditions under which it is generated so let's see what's written in your books and then we will ask the same three questions again so it says uh, if one engine fails the fac modifies the side slip indication slightly to show the pilot how much rudder to use to get the best climb performance keeping aileron neutral and spoilers retracted in this case in case of one engine failure at take off or go around the side slip index on the pfd changes from yellow to blue so the first question no clears by itself that okay it is uh, uh, nothing but the change of color basically of what side slip index so in general this is uh, your roll indicator and this is your side slip indicator right in case of an engine failure and when some conditions we will discuss when they meet this color of side slip indicator changes from yellow to blue this is called beta target okay the first question clears by itself what is beta target which computer generates it it's the fac flight augmentation computer we have discussed about fac in uh, your auto flight and flight guidance right so the two questions clears itself that fac is the computer which generates the side slip indicator or beta target and the beta target is in case of uh, engine failure during take off or go around the side slip index of pfd changes its color from yellow to blue and it assist pilot how much rudder to use to get the best climb performance now what do you mean by best climb performance was aircraft not getting best climb performance no aircraft was not in best climb performance when one engine failed because aircraft aircraft's spoilers and ailerons comes into play to uh, to make the aircraft fly on the desired route right by itself but when you put the rudder by pressing the rudder adequate rudder will neutral the ailerons and spoilers and the climb performance will be improved there will be no uh, extra drag right so this is the work of uh, this indicator your work is to just keep it in center to get the best climb performance that's it okay so far so good now first of all uh, first of everything i should tell where this information is written in your fcom when you will open the fcom and uh, you will go to the flight controls uh, aircraft system flight controls chapter 27 27-20 flight control system in the normal law 27-20-10 normal law here is the side slip target 
and this is the information right i have taken a screenshot now we have read whatever is written in this now this fcom refers to uh, refers us to go uh, 31-40 attitude data so this is your indicating and recording chapter 31-40 we will go and check what's written there so it is 31 dash 40 it is 31 indicating and recording dash 40 it is indications on pfd makes sense and then attitude data okay what's written over there so it is written over here side slip index yellow i have taken a screenshot for you no worries here it is so in my fcom it was uh, of uh, the information was for CFM first of all we will discuss about the CFM engines then we will discuss discuss about IAE engines in IAE engines we have a EPR gauge for CAEs CFM sorry for CFM engines we have N1 that's pretty good okay now the question which still remains is the what are the conditions under which it is generated it is clear that this beta target comes generally comes during takeoff and go around phases phases if one engine fails now we will try to connect the dots okay here comes the information from the indicating and recording it says in case of engine failure at takeoff or go around the side slip index changes its color from yellow to blue right that side slip target is blue if configuration 1 2 or 3 is selected okay so your aircraft should be in configuration 1 2 or 3 generally you will be either taking off you will be landing or you will be going around right that's why it is written during takeoff and go around you will not be in the configuration 1, 2 or 3 uh, at flight level 25,000, 30,000, right? That makes sense. The second condition is if any engine N1 is greater than 80% and the difference between the engine N1s exceed 35%. So there are two conditions. Either, in, either engine N1 is greater than 80% or one thrust lever is at or more than MCT or flex right so here is the this thing let's say your one engine left engine is at 81% over here and the another engine let's say fails and the RPM drops down and the difference between the both engines N1 is 35%. In this case, your uh, side slip index color will change from yellow to blue. Right, it makes sense. So, the difference between the engine N1 exceeds 35%. In this case, side slip index is called beta target. Right, this was about the CFM engines. Now, we will talk about IAE engines. In IAE engines, we have a EPR gauge. EPR stands for engine pressure ratio, right? Everything is same, but uh, the side slip target is blue if configuration 1, 2, 3 is selected, right? If any EPR is greater than 1.25 or one thrust lever is more than MCT or flex, either any of the engine is more than 1.5 or thrust lever is at or above MCT and the difference between the both EPR is more than 0 0.25 it is the difference between the both two should be more than 0 0.25 then the side slip index changes its color from yellow to blue and then it's called beta target now my third and last question get automatically clears that what are the conditions under which it is generated right here are the conditions under which it changes its color from yellow to blue right i hope it is clear now right 
okay please share this video with your friends i make these kind of videos on airbus a320 and uh, atpl oral extra topics right thank you